Oh hey, Roxanne reporting from Cape Town, South Africa, bringing you another awesome recipe that you can use to really rebel and go raw because this is it people. Let's do it and it tastes good and let's enjoy. I love you. Yes. Hey guys, there in the world. Welcome to our moment together. Good times. Today I'm going to show you how to make some kick-ass guacamole. Let's just say I used to live with some Mexicans, so I got some tips. But um, this is very special and it's all raw. And it's really good for you. This is an awesome lunch. So do it up. It's pretty easy. So what you're going to need is obviously some fresh, awesome avocado. Um, basically, you want to do 50% of it in avocado. You want to do the majority of it avocado. So play around with it, see what you like. Um, we have onion. Usually one onion works because onions I find go a long way. I don't know how, but they multiply it seems. Then your tears multiply and it just gets out of control. Then you want some tomato and I um, also like the little small tomatoes because they're a lot easier to cut up because the thing with guacamole is you have to really chop up everything really small so in every bite you can just have all the flavors together. So as small as possible, even though it's a mission, if you want to make guacamole this is how you do it, I'm just telling you. So you got the avocado, you got the onion, the tomato, and you want to you know, put about 25% onion and 25% tomato about. Um, then you're going to get some lemon, maybe get one or two and um, for squeezing in there. And I also have cucumber to slice up to actually use to dip it. So that's also another ingredient. Um, you're going to want to have some salt and pepper. You can get um, organic or you can get Himalayan. That's the new thing these days. Not, this is not a product placement or anything, but um, anyways, I usually throw a little bit of olive oil in there, um, and then you can pretty much spice it up a little bit. I put a little bit, a little bit of chili, just for the spice, you know. And the last thing I forgot is garlic, fresh if possible. I have this cute little grater thing here, boop, 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 and it's good. Done. So what you're going to do is what I usually do is I cut up the onions and the tomato. And I put them in this bowl you can see here, and then I put the lemon on it and I start spicing it up. So actually the, the onions have time to soften up a little bit. So it all goes in together and it gives a nice little, and even if it is a little watery it's fine because you're about to put a lot of avocado. So it kind of creates a little base. So you leave that sort of soaking while you're doing stuff. And if you're going to a party, what you do is go ahead and cut up the tomato and the onion have this all ready and just ready to throw in the avocados because you don't want to keep those too long because they are brown and it's not a cool party favor if you bring some brown avocados. <laughs> Honestly. So, just a little tip. You know, not that I've experienced it, but maybe I have. No. So, um, so, I'll show you now. Just uh, got all that mixed together. Remember, you got the garlic, the onion, the tomatoes, some salt and pepper. Just flavor it up a little bit, but don't get too hectic. Because you want the fruits and the vegetables to all just really, you want to be able to taste the goodness of it all. So, oh, I already have a spoon here, that's nice. Okay, so then I'm just going to throw it in there. And this is kind of the funnest part, it's so easy, you know. Just like throw it in. Got that one. Nice. So, welcome to the process. Try to get the nicest, freshest avocados you can, obviously. And right now in South Africa, they're in season, so it's a great time to get them. They're like, Three rand. I mean, you cannot eat that. So I'm probably going to put um, two decent sized avocados in this one here. It's going to be good stuff. Okay? You can even just squeeze it in there. You don't even need a spoon. Oh no, it's crazy. Squeeze it in there. Soak up all, all of it that you can. And then. Almost done here. And this is nice about this too, there's no cooking involved. It's just a little bit of chopping shit up and throwing it together. So you don't need pots and pans and all that kind of stuff. Too much, you know? So now what you're going to do is come up in here and just really mush it up together. Get it where it just becomes almost one thing. It's just uniform. All the cells, all the genes are just meshing together in one uniform taste. And I mean, if you feel like you need some more avocado, throw some more in there. But remember, eat it all up because you don't want to keep it for later. Eat it fresh. That's how we roll around here. Okay? 
So that's pretty much it. And then um, what I'll do is I'll just cut up some little cucumber here. And you can peel it if you want to, it depends on how serious you want to get. Up to you. Then you come right here, get yourself a little bit. Done. Not good. That might be the best one I made. I don't know. But, anyways, hopefully, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, this is Roxanne from Two Rebels Go Raw, because raw is the way to go, it's going to change the world. And this is just one way to go about it. And this is a whole meal right here. And it's freaking good. Do it. Woo! Kick ass guacamole.